Hey guys, I'm walking out to the garden right now with some um, organic fungicide. I'm going to spray some of my plants, then I'm gonna milk the goats, and then I'm gonna get ready for date night. some mild issues with um, some funguses on my tomato plants just a little bit of disease it's not that bad and it might be attributed to how close together they're planted however I've decided to use some organic um, fungicides to go ahead and put on here they also work as um, insecticides things like neem oil and there's also a mix I'll show you the bottle that I found at the store that is approved for organic gardening. So I'm gonna just, um, I just mixed up a gallon. I'm gonna go through and see how well it works. I just bought a new sprayer. I'll show it to you. Here's my sprayer. It was real easy to put together and it was like $10 at Home Depot, which I've been using just a, like a glass spray bottle that holds about a liter, but with the size of my garden, that's just not working. So hopefully this will cut down on some time. I also found this bottle of Ar Organicide Garden Spray, which it's it's made of um, sesame oil, lecithin, fish oil, potassium sorbate, and water. So it's just a basic and also some neem oil extract, which this is also a concentrate. Right now this is the Organis tank. I'm sorry, eggplant. I think he's gonna pull through, guys. Oops. I better just get to work. Stop talking about it. This thing works pretty good. I just covered one side of this 48 foot row and both sides of this 48 foot row with one gallon using this sprayer. It makes it a nice even mist. That's awesome, I feel good about that. Um, I'm gonna finish doing this in the morning because I'm running out of time, but I was just excited to try out my new toy uh, and I need to still milk the goats. Here come my milkers. Only a few of my girls get milk twice a day, the ones that don't have kids on them. Um, and we've been letting them out into the southern yard to eat the grass. So thankfully they still come running when they see me with the milk pail because they know there are treats to be had. You see all the little bl bright flashes? Those are flies. It's no. awful this type of year, time of year. I just got some fly traps. I'm gonna try some natural remedies. We gotta take care of it, huh, polyester? Come on, don't be dumb. Come on, get back on the stand. You want it? Goats. So we're planning on having a date night tonight, which is not rare. I mean, we're pretty good at making time for that. However, it has been a little while because of traveling and ministry and having um, so many of our goats kidding, having so many in milk. It's a little harder for us to get away, but like right now, we're just doing chores a little bit early, a um, little bit earlier than usual, and then Michaela is going to watch the kids and we're going to go, so I'm excited. I don't mean to be dramatic or anything, but I'm pretty sure it's like 4,000 degrees outside and I'm about to die. Uh, like it's only mid-June and in, in all seriousness it's 90 and the humidity is 75% that means you walk outside and immediately begin to melt all right we're done time to get ready and go on a date all right, we are on our way to our date destination, which is dinner. Exciting. Super. Uh, and we have been thinking of things to talk about. A little bit. A little bit. We live like half an hour.
power from everywhere in our house in this country. So we're in the city now. Do you know where the shopping center is? Nope. We're so indecisive. We've already discussed like five places to eat and we decided on one and then started thinking about going to one that was close by. We don't get out enough. <laughs> Jeremiah has such a hard time deciding what to order in restaurants. So many choices. We ordered appetizers and we didn't have happy plates. What's your fortune cookie say? So are we like adding on the farm at the end of each fortune? What? On the farm. On the farm? Yeah. Oh, is that what we're doing now? Is that the clean version of the, yeah, the, clean version. Of the game? Say, Past experience. He who never makes mistakes, never do anything that's worthy on the farm. <laughs> Adventure can be a real happiness on the farm. Okay. Find your time for success is near on the farm. is kind of disorienting because you can feel the bridge swaying. It's kind of weird. What are you looking at? So does the bridge, does, I've never been to that side, does the bridge split and go left and right? Yes. I only knew that because I just looked down there and saw it. So maybe. The answer is maybe. <laughs> I don't really have anything else to say. Neither. You want to go get some coffee? Yeah.